Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a wormhole mapping tool that Tenya has kindly provided called Pathfinder. First of all, uh, I'll actually provide the link to go with the video. Um, you need to log in with your Eve uh, login. You'll be brought to this authorization uh, page. You need to authorize the character that you have in the wormhole. Um, more than likely, it will be the character that you've actually got in Dark Rising or uh, the Wrecking Machine. So mine's Torin Decopter. Click on Authorize. Loads. You'll be presented with this lovely map. Um, this map hasn't actually been updated. So, well, that's actually our wormhole, the name of our wormhole right now. So, J105951, and same there. Um, first of all, I'm going to clear this, so just drag along there, right click, delete systems, blah. Right. Um, so, this tool it will basically map all connections in our wormhole. Um, the way you do this, I'll, sh I'll show you exactly how to do it now, so you won't have to stress or anything, okay? Start now. Um, I've actually previously already scanned the entire system and bookmarked the wormholes that are actually connected to our system. Uh, they're all there. Yeah, so first of all, I'm just going to walk to DEA, see what this one is. This one actually leads to high sec, so it's not good. Okay, uh, we'll m just map the high sec first of all. So I'm gonna jump through it and reopen the mapping tool. And when I've jumped through, the high sec should automatically appear on here, and then it'll be saved. See, there you go. It appears right there. I'm just going to drag it off to the side a minute. Um, okay, now that is actually our high sex static mapped. And that will stay there until someone deletes it. Now I'm going to jump back through. Stupid MWD. I'm not actually going to rename uh, the wormholes or anything just yet. Uh, I just, it's this video is basically just literally for the purpose of showing you the mapping tool. I'm going to walk to GUC. Hopefully it should actually be a uh, unknown. I'm hoping so anyway. Uh, this, uh, this map actually tells you um, who's in our wormhole uh, or what system you jump in because uh, it actually tracks where you're moving to um, so you click that to turn the tracking on or tra turn the tracking off if you click on um, here it shows you the characters that are in our wormhole so obviously there's Nick, Marika, Tenya, Sid, myself and Uriel um, they're not actually all logged on at the moment but it tracks the people that have been using the tool Okay, we've landed at this one. Uh, show info... Leads to unknown. Yeah, so... Okay, we'll see what this one is. Should jump through any second now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've jumped into another C2. So, click on this C2, it'll bring up all the information down here. 
tells you what statics it has it. So it has a high sex static and a C1. Uh, also gives you killboard information. Um, I'm not going to click on there, but it can. It tells you that in the last 10 hours, Chex Alpha lost a heron worth 38.5 million. Nope. Um, right. Also, uh, you, if you click on that, uh, there's a wormhole uh, button right there. Click on it, um, and I know. Um, I think it's Prez uses this particular tool here, but he's actually got to type all that in there, um, and then it comes up with all that. Um, give it, uh, I don't know what all that means, and uh, tells you who it was previously occupied, occupied by, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's all very good. But I, I don't personally use that tool. I'd prefer I prefer to use this myself. Um, so yeah, okay, that's that C2 mapped. Uh, jump back in. I'm not I'm not going to scout these holes yet. I'll do it once I finish the video. <laughs> jump back in. Jump back in. Uh, so that was Cook. I'll go to. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> jeez. We'll go to jeez now. Uh, I six eight three. Do you know what that means? Um, dangerous unknown again. These are actually going to need closed if people want to use the wormhole safely. Uh, open the Pathfinder again. Uh, this one's a C4. Click on it again. Information, no kills found in the last 24 hours. Hmm. As you can see, it's got a C3 and C6 stack. This could actually lead to some major people. Uh, yeah, you, uh, to scout wormholes, just warp around the map. Warp to. Obviously, if you can't find anything in D scan range, um, just warp to the, the celestial out of your D scan range and then hit the D scan again if you find Astros. Right click, up to 100, blah blah blah. It will not scout, so I don't need to tell you all. I'm gonna jump back through as that one is mapped. Uh, so that one, geez, I'm gonna go to OWB now. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise, my kids are watching the telly. Oh, fucking hell, we've got another unknown. I'm hoping one of these is going to be the C3. Uh, Oh, C4. Yeah, this one's actually got an effect as well, so... Cool. I was hoping for one of these. Um, okay. Now, this one's a C4. Uh, you can see no kills within 24 hours. It's got an effect, which is Red Giant. If you hover over this little question mark here, it'll tell you exactly what the effects are of the Red Giant. So, you can see you've got plus 36% uh, percent heat damage. Um, overload bonus 72%, smart bombing range 72%, smart bomb damage 72%, bomb damage another 72%. So this holds pretty perfect if you want a smart bomb or bomb. 
perfect for Mecha really. Um, shows it's got C3 static and a C C2 static. Uh, oh yeah, I, one bit I actually forgot to tell you. Um, the question mark next to the um, statics uh, tells you the max uh, stable mass, which is two million kilograms. Uh, two billion kilograms, sorry. And the max jump mass, which is 300 million kilograms. It also tells you the max lifetime of the static hull we, uh, in the C2 uh, N766 case, it is 16 hours. Uh, and the same for the C247 C3. Okay. Uh, I didn't actually. Oh, yeah. I've never actually looked at this bit before. Uh, it basically tells you who created the link, uh, when and what time they created the link. I never knew that. Okay, we'll go back on. We'll go back to Oblivion. As I said, I'm not going to map all these yet, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to officially map them yet. So I'll do all the bookmarks and that once I finish the video. Um, if people want to know anything about bookmarks, either talk to myself or president. Go up to the next one. Hopefully the next one should be the static C3 that we offer. If it's if it's not, then there's something seriously wrong with our hull today. Uh, yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Open the tool again. Yay! Okay, there we go. Uh, that's our C3 static. Um, again, that comes up to tell you that there's actually no unscanned signatures in the system. Um, well, there is. Uh, you can actually add all these to the tool yourself. Um, once you've scanned them, all you do is click in here, control A, control C, back to the tool, add signature, uh, do that one actually. Uh, so your scan result, you just copy and paste in there, uh, update signatures, and then all the signatures you've scanned and the names, IDs and everything, they'll appear in a list just there. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because it'll just put a load of unknown crap in, okay? Actually, I'll do, I'll do it with this one, actually. I'll do it with just one so you know. Signature... Okay. So it shows the all, and then it shows all those ones, okay? Um, I'm going to delete the unknown one. This shouldn't be on there. We don't need them. So okay. Um. Yeah. So ah, well, one other thing, which is pretty important because you only you only want to map the stuff around your wormhole and some of the other connecting wormholes if there's something interesting. So let's say you go to the high sec. Shit, I can't remember which one's high sec. I think it was the um so if you jump into the high sec click on that, it'll tell you how many jumps it is from Jitter. This one is two jumps from Jitter, okay? Apparently. Yeah, two jumps from Jitter. So, check this. Yeah, that's Isaac. That's Isaac. 
So if I jump out of here... <coughs> now, if you've got the uh, map tracking on, it will literally track every single system you jump into while you've got that turned on, okay? So I'll show you. Uh, we'll just go to that one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, to be honest. So you'll see this next system appear just here, and it'll link directly onto that one. Should. Yeah, see, there you go. We've jumped in there. So literally every system you jump into, it's gonna link, 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 link. So once you leave the wormhole, um, if you come into high sec, or if you uh, just just turn that off, um, map tracking will be off, and then it won't track where you're going anymore. I'll show you. I'll, I'll just jump back into. Yep, I've jumped in and it won't track anymore. Right, better not do. Better not make a liar out of me. Nope. Hasn't tracked. Yes it has. Why is it tracked? Absolutely made a liar out of me. Oh well. It shouldn't it shouldn't track and link system after system after system after system. Okay, uh, if it does, it's easy enough, I'll just come on, uh, do that, do that, do that. Okay, so yeah guys, uh, that's how you use our mapping tool. Um, any more questions, just mail me in-game or get in touch with me on uh, Discord. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, okay, so yeah, that's done.